Finder Glen, five points to drum. A most effective punishment for a silly foul. Mickey Morn. Francis Burke with the kick out. Switching wings. Barry Young struggling for it. Picked up. Patsy Burke. But he is fouled unfairly and Drum have a free just inside the Glen half of the field. Patsy Burke with the free. Dermot O'Hara failing to grab it. Johnny Keelton possession. High ball. Ender Gormley deflecting it. Picked up by Sean Riley. His way forward. Bottled up by Frank McKee. But back to Peter Stevenson. And they clamp on Peter Stevenson. Drum being forced back. Francis Burke, a full back. Clearing his lines this time. Diagonally. And they push in the back there from Barry Burke. Allowed to go unpunished. As he feeds the ball forward to Dermot O'Hara. And the drum captain driven wide the roving tactics of the Glen full forward causing problems for this man the drum full back now having to retrace his steps as the full forward goes back to take up sees the ball breaking Danny McMaster good clearance good calculated clearance to Frank McKee trying to find Mickey Morn but this time the youthful under 21 county player Francis Burke equal to the examination but again, Glenn defence holding firm. Good clearance from Barry Young. Cahill Glass, a lot of time to settle himself. Ender Gormley, switching the angle of attack. Seamus Gallagher. Cahill Glass rides the tackle. But again, off balance. And yet, another wide for Glenn. Seamus McCall's kick out. Grabbed by Ender Gormley. Clever ball inside to Seamus Gallagher. Mickey Morn. And the ever accurate full forward curling in magnificently inside the upright. A beautiful point there from Mickey Morn. And good calculated movement up to it. From Ender Gormley won the ball. Seamus Heffern, and Mickey Morn the score. And meanwhile play resuming with the short kick out. And Francis Burke having driven the ball forward. Donald Brawley shaking off the attentions of Danny McMaster. Who's gone off? Who's gone off? And this time the referee entering the name of Danny McMaster in his book for the foul there on number 20, Donald and the free to be taken by Sean Riley. Ball driven, dangerous ball. Oh, grabbed magnificently there by Sean McKenna as the ball was deflected by Donald Brawley towards the corner of the net. Marty O'Donnell grabbing him but losing it. Again, Sean Riley dipping the shoulder into the tackle. Kevin O'Kane. Johnny Keelt. Clearing his lines over the sideline. And meanwhile, we see the Glen left half. Marty O'Donnell having been hurt in that collision. At the same time, Drum have introduced a substitute. Jared O'Hara coming in for full forward Anthony O'Hara. And despite that movement of the Drum players, it means a retake of the sideline. And meanwhile, Play resuming with the sideline. Ball breaks across. And they're grabbing for it. But it's hoosed clear. And in the race for possession. Right half, Kevin O'Hara. Doing very good work to get it inside. Grabbed by Danny McMaster. And clearing his lines. But only into the safe hands of Peter Stevenson. Finding Sean Riley immediately. Beautiful movement from Drum. Oh, grabbed magnificently by their captain. But off the upright. That was a let off for Glenn as Dermot Hara crashed that ball off the upright. And meanwhile, Seamus Heffernan being pushed, hustled off the ball there by Barry Burke and he feeds it back to his midfielder, Kieran Farn. Back to Kevin O'Hara, drum raising their game considerably. But the Glenn defence so far standing firm. Donald Gormley breaking it out cleverly. 
Yes, the deflection. Pulled down by Patsy Burke, but play continuing and then brought back by the referee. As we see yet another Glen player on the ground, this time it's there. A sub. And we see the Glen substitute, Paul Glass, having been introduced for Marty O'Donnell. And Paul wearing number 17. Paul Glass, the Glen substitute, wearing number 17, taking over at left half for Marty O'Donnell, injured in a collision a few moments ago. And play continuing, long free. Ball breaks. Grabbed by Jared O'Hara. Well blocked by Mickey Morn. Back goes Colin Feeney. This time, drop kick into the hands of Kieran Farren. Trying to find Francis Burke, now operating in midfield. And it looks to me that Cattle Glass is also carrying an injury there for Glenn. It's stole between Peter Stevenson and Mickey Morn, and Peter Stevenson being fouled. Free quickly taken. It's broken. Francis Burke now operating midfield and causing problems immediately for Glenn in that area. Sean McCall losing possession. And again, Donald Brawley with a deliberately late tackle, I would say, at this stage. Ball curled across. Donald Brawley again in possession. But failing to keep possession. Into the hands of Jimmy McCluskey. And McCluskey over the bar. That's a good score from McCluskey. The number 10 for Drum. 1-10 to Glenn, six points to Drum. And 11 minutes of play left. And the kick out from Colin McKenna, grabbed by Larry Cudden. Good fielding in midfield. Back to Paul Glass, first touch of the ball for the substitute. But Peter Stevenson being hacked to the ground. And although was fouled himself, retaliated, and that was the one the referee saw. And the free to be taken by captain and midfielder Frank McKee, doing an immense piece of work. This time it's a long, long ball dropping on the edge of the square, broken by Mickey Moore and grabbed by Ender Gormley, and scored by Gormley. The action speaks for itself. The simplicity again, the free kick, the broken ball, and the score. The kick out, quickly taken to Patsy Burke. Barry Young grafting for it, winning it. Ball deflected back to Patsy Burke, settling himself, looking for a target. And a teasing ball along the touchline and deflected over that touchline in favour of Glenn. And from having a reshuffled team, and so far as Francis Burke now midfield. And winning the ball in that area, but giving it away. Larry Cudden, Seamus Heffernan, again fouled off the ball by his man the moment Glenn posed danger. Seamus Gallagher's lofted ball, high and wide. Hey, ladies, man, you're supposed to watch what's going on off the ball. Francis Burke with a kick. Donald Brawley. Inside the Glen defence, but again, broken. This time, Sean Riley, new operating centre half forward, a beautiful ball forward, and good work by the keeper, but followed up, and again, good work by the corner back. And despite the dangerous play there of Kevin O'Kane, who tried to kick that ball out of the keeper's hands, lines briefly cleared into the hands of Kieran Farren, dispossessed. Good blocking there by Danny McMaster, and eventually lofted in towards the goals, and again, the keeper solid as a brick wall. <laughs> Tantalizing ball hanging in the air, Jimmy McCluskey failing to gather. And a peculiarly driven crossfield ball, won by Barry Burke, withstanding the heavy tackles of the Glen men, and getting in his kick, but back is Sean McKenna. 
and a dangerous ball across the face of his own goals. And they're struggling for it. And it's grabbed there by Sean Riley, the ever present threat of Sean Riley. The midfielder now operating centre half forward, reducing the leeway. Glenn 111, drum seven points, seven minutes of play left. Referee not happy about the encroachment of the sideline by a number of supporters on the far side. Play being held up, but recommences with the kick out from the Glen keeper, Colin McKenna. Mickey Moore breaks, snapped up by Colin Bra uh, Donald Brawley. But again, as the ball is on the ground, Sean McKenna not going to give that one away easily and winning the free. Danny McMaster with the kick, trying to find Frank McKee. Beautifully taken, and a shimmy and a dummy, and wins lots of room. Now needing support, but deciding to go it alone. It's a beautiful ball for McKee, but just wide of the upright. And Colin Feeney with the kick out, driven low, picked up by Peter Stevenson. Making, trying to make room for himself, but forced. Crossfield, Barry Young, youthful right half, grabbing it and being hauled to the ground. Frank McKee with the free, driven deep. Ender Gormley grabbing it magnificently on the end line and needing support. Back to Seamus Gallagher. Gallagher back to Seamus Heffernan. Heffernan being attended but a clever ball cross field to Cahill Glass and that is broken down and snapped up and eventually Donald Brawley, the veteran, working hard. Sean Riley, and the moment Riley he gets the ball, things begin to happen. But not this time. Johnny Keel sees to that one. Mickey Morn. Seamus Heffernan. But Kevin O'Hara equal to the examination and clearing his lines. Dermot O'Hara in possession. Trying to find Sean Riley, but Larry Cudden equal to that one. Johnny Kilt pushing it over the sideline. Aye. And Sean Riley with the free ball breaks. Grabbed by corner forward, Barry Burke, and cleverly stroked over the bar to reduce the drum leeway. The right corner forward, his first score of the game, and drums eighth. Glenn 111, drum eight points, and uh, three minutes of play left. Colin McKenna's kick out, it's a good one. Ball breaks, Larry Cullen again, switching it down, but. Jared O'Hara now operating at fullback, shrugs off the attentions of Ender Gormley and tries to set Drum back in motion. Loose ball picked up by Barry Burke, but he's fouled and Drum have a free. And it's Kevin O'Hara with this one. And the right half driving it deep. Ball breaks loose, picked up by Jimmy McCluskey, settling himself. Clever ball inside. And blocked again on the line, but followed up and cleared again. A lucky let off so far for Glenn. Sean Riley failing to get possession cleanly. Now he does. Cross field and Mickey Morn grabbing the ball and withstands the attentions to clear his lines. But was injured in that collision, but nevertheless play continuing. Ender Gormley called to the ground on the halfway line. 